The multi-terrain monitor lets you check the vehicle's surroundings. It's helpful when judging conditions off-road or when checking parking obstacles. You can select a variety of screens, depending on your shift position and vehicle speed. To view the cameras, be sure the ignition is on and press the View button located behind the right side of the steering wheel. When you're in 4 high and the shifter is in Park, Neutral or Drive and the vehicle speed is less than 7 miles per hour, pressing the View button will change the display from the navigation screen to the front panoramic and overhead views. In this view, the area in front of the vehicle is displayed and the overhead view shows the vehicle's surroundings. Pressing the View button again will change to the dual side view. This is for checking the area to the left and right of the vehicle. It's helpful to make sure you're within the lines of a parking space and not too close to the curb when parallel parking. Pressing the View button again returns you to the navigation screen. During normal driving, when you're in 4 high, shifting into reverse will give you a view of the area behind the vehicle. There are two views you can choose between. One shows the area directly behind the vehicle, and the overhead view shows the vehicle's surroundings. Selecting the button on the left, we'll switch to a panoramic rear view of the area behind the vehicle. On the front view and rear view screens, the button in the lower right is for setting the guidelines. The yellow lines show your intended course and are linked to the steering angle. Selecting the button again shows static guidelines and pressing it a third time turns guidelines off. When the system is on and the vehicle is shifted into neutral or drive, and while driving when your speed is less than 6 miles per hour, you can use the remote touch controller to put the system in auto. Auto sets the system to automatically activate the system. The views from the multi-terrain monitor will vary depending on whether you're in 4 high or 4 low. When you're in low traction situations, and in the 4 low mode, shifting in reverse will give you a dual side view that shows the area to the left and right of the vehicle from the front to rear wheels and a rear view area directly behind the vehicle. The guidelines represent the width of the vehicle. Selecting this button will change the view to a panoramic rear view of the area behind the vehicle. When you're in 4 low and the shifter is in park, neutral, or drive, a view in front of the vehicle displays. It'll display the area to the left and right of the vehicle and the area in front of the vehicle. Pressing the view button will magnify the front view. Pressing it again returns to a normal view. In certain situations, selecting this on-screen button in either view will display the terrain under the front of the vehicle. Unique to the four low views are a tilt meter and slip display. The tilt meter displays the vehicle's inclination to the front, rear, left, and right within a range of zero degrees to approximately 30 degrees. When a slipping wheel is detected, the tilt meter automatically switches to the slip display. The display shows slipping wheels in yellow and uses the parking assist sensors to show any nearby obstacles detected. For more information you can check out the other helpful Lexus how-to videos or go to LexusDrivers.com and check out the My Lexus section. If your vehicle is equipped with navigation, reference your owner's manual that came with your vehicle. We're here to help Contact your Lexus dealer to speak with a Lexus technology specialist or contact Lexus Customer Satisfaction at 800-255-3987.